In today's video, we are continuing on with the Gateway Oracle Cards by Denise Lin. Fantastic deck, brilliant messages. Today we're doing it differently. We have only got two piles to choose from, but you'll be getting two cards from each. So you've got the clear quartz and you've got the, what do you call this? Citrine. Oh my goodness. I was going to call it something else. Citrine. So you've got the citrine or the clear quartz. Pick your pile. Oh, today I'm picking pile two. Which pile are you picking? Let me know in the chat below. <laughs> okay, pile one, here we go. I might, what I might do is I might put a little stand today because there'll be two cards that you'll be looking at. Pile one. Your first card. Go forward slowly and gently. Stop to smell the daisies and enjoy the view. Love and appreciate what is here and now. For those that are old, you remember the daisy bag with Avod? This is what reminds me of daisies. When you take your time and go slowly, new perceptions blossom that you can't see if you're moving fast. Step out of the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the majesty of stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct and tune in to your deeper intuition. Power is born when you relax into the present moment. It will be very interesting to see what your next card is, pile number one. The questions to journal and ask yourself today are, what is the underlying wisdom for me regarding being cautious? Is there an area of my life where I should slow down? Should I view a certain person or situation in my life with caution? Now we'll put that card there to remind you once we get card two up. Pile one, card two. Don't want to confuse you today. Oh, interesting because when we get rid of things, we have more clarity on our life. So your second card is renewing your life. A powerful inner and outer renewal is occurring in your life. Purification is happening on many levels. Take your life to the next level by clutter clearing. Release situations and people that don't empower you. Space clear your environment and eat lightly. In order for renewal to occur, the old needs to make way for the new. Very interesting. So, you know, take your time about what you're going to get rid of as well. Sometimes it's difficult for exciting experiences to come into your life if your auric field or your personal space is cluttered. There's simply no room for something new. When you purify your life, create the space for new opportunities to come flooding in. If you have a sense that your auric field, your living space, your body has become cluttered, this is the time to do some inner and outer clearing. Now the journal questions for this card is, is there anything I need to purify or clear out of my life? Is there anything that needs to be renewed or re-examined in my life? How can purification help me become a clearer channel for myself and others? Beautiful message, a lot of strength here. Just remember, you know, as a psychic doing so many readings that often we can jump in and make mistakes because we're not thinking clearly. And if we have too much going on in our life, and that could be stuff, but that also could be appointments, it doesn't allow us to be a clear channel of making the right decisions for us. So really keep that in mind if you picked pile one. Now pile two. So it's interesting because Denise Lynn is known for clutter clearing. That is her thing, energetic clutter clearing. Also drumming. I remember once I wanted to buy a drum from her, but it was just too expensive. So pile two, igniting courage. You're moving forward fearlessly, gather your inner force, forces and take a risk. Speak up for yourself by honouring your truth. This isn't the time to be timid or hold back. Go forward gallantly with your banner of truth waving in the wind. You're a light bearer for others. Where have you always wanted to go? What have you always wanted to do or be? This is the time to make it happen. Launch yourself forward and explore the world around you. 
However, before any journey, inner or outer, take time to prepare for the adventure ahead. Know where you are and where you want to go. How will you get there? What steps are necessary in order to take this leap? Have a clear vision, but also be prepared for the unexpected. Allow the journey to bring as much joy as the destination. Nice message. Now the journal questions for this card is how can I prepare myself for the journey ahead? What is the greatest journey I could embark upon in my life? What destination will be the most fulfilling? Interesting. Card two, pile two. Ah, simplify your life. Similar to pile number one, focus on what is important to you and let everything else go. Scan all areas of your life and clear out the internal and external clutter and you'll experience remarkable transformation, rest and rejuvenation. Do what matters and release whatever is left. To clearly hear messages from spirit, simplify. There you go. Interesting how this is my pile. If you're always busy and have accumulated much more than you need, you might also have a lot of static in your life. This can make it a challenge to hear the voice of the creator. Remove those things from your schedule that don't move your life forward. Then go through your living room and workspaces room by room and clear out the clutter. Additionally, be sure to take time to clear any mental clutter. Calm your mind and simplify your thoughts. Calm your mind and simplify your thoughts. The smallest amount of clutter clearing, both internal and external, can make a huge difference in your life. What can I clear out of my life that will enrich and empower me? What blocks me from simplifying my life? You know, often we stand in our way. What will, what will my ultimate result be if I simplify my environment and activities? You know what that will be? Spending more time on you. So that is today's messages for Pile 2. Hope you enjoy that. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, even if it's just a hello. Until tomorrow, where we're continuing with the Gateway Oracle cards. We've got a few more to go, a few more to go. So we'll be back tomorrow. See you then.